Hello and welcome to a very special podcast. We're doing a little live stream for Earth Day. Hi everybody. So Hello. playing playing with the three-way video stream here. Uh, after some technical fun, we got it going. Uh, but we just wanted to have a chance to to get on and and uh, chat a little bit because it's the 50th anniversary of Earth Day, and we just didn't want to miss it. So. Um, we, you know, it's not the best of circumstances in the world right now, but, you know, Earth Day has been a longstanding event. And uh, so I was kind of looking over at EarthDay.com as I as I look towards my, my computer monitor here uh, to see kind of what they've going on. They've got actually uh, some virtual things going on today. So uh, you can actually tune in live. Uh, they've got a stream going on. There's somebody talking right now, uh, but they're in the middle of their discussion. So I'm not sure what theirs is. Uh, there's also... Uh, some other events that you can can participate in, and you could check out uh, some of the things that that are a part of the Earth Day movement all around. Uh, so that might be your first stop for Earth Day 2020 if you haven't been there yet, which is uh, EarthDay.org. As we're winding around, as we are wow, <laughs> as we are winding down the day. So yeah. what have you been doing today, Barb? I've been doing a lot because, you know, I work in this area. I was thinking about doing Earth Day stuff and been doing it a long time. And on my fingers, I could list like more than 50 organizations I know that are doing things. We had a whole celebration today. We're doing Earth Day is every day. Uh, my geography students don't normally get a chance in the spring to do Geography Awareness Week. So I combined the two together and we're sort of doing GIS Day, Geography Awareness Week with an Earth Day theme. Um, and as a university, we did a lib guide, which is something I just found out about, which is where you work with libraries to basically put all your resources up online and people can share it worldwide. Um, so we made a repository of Earth Day events going on around the world and in our state. And then we did a lot of citizen science listing um, because it's also citizen science week, citizen science month. Um, I've seen a lot out of Australia for their citizen science because they're doing a lot of events, but they also have a stamp to celebrate the people in their country that have contributed contributed um, to it. And then I was going through the list of other events um, because it is citizen science month, all month. Um, in our state, we've got a box turtle count going on where you can go out in your yard now and you know you might not be able to go far, but you can do a box turtle count. It's also the dark, st dark skies. So with NASA, it's the International Dark Sky Week to go out tonight and a bunch of states are competing and countries are competing to go out and make their observations. Um, it's Rails to Trails Week, um, which mm -hmm. I thought really fit with urban geography, the switching over from rails to trails and what that means. And um, it's National Volunteer Week, which goes along with citizen science and with geography and people doing crowdsourcing being asked to contribute. It is National Library Week, which goes along again with all the geography and the books and which books would you select. Um, I actually, well, I'd have to reach behind me, but I'm donating a book to our library um, from someone that we interviewed. And I can't pronounce her name correctly till I hold on a second. I'm going to go get the book. Okay. All right. So uh, a big long list there. Oh, here comes, comes Barb back with her book. That was quick. Oop, here okay. it is. There we go. All right. Lenagari Mathai, oh. when we talked to her geospatial team. And so I wanted to do that because she always talked about how we were all hummingbirds. You just do what you can and what you can just adds up. And I was thinking about the people that I've met. I met Judge Potter. He is considered the father of the environmental courts. And we invited him to our state to try to figure out, could we do that here? And it turned out we couldn't, but he came many times. Um, and what he talked about in terms was basically, and he didn't realize it at the time with mapping, was that a lot of things fall through the cracks when you're talking about the small things with public health, like the elderly that are having problems fixing up their houses or someone that's selling over and over bad baby food. Um, but the community notices, and if they're mapping it, if they're tracking it, then that helps to change things. Yeah, that's Pippin. That's, that's uh, Barb's dog Pippin. Uh, if you're wondering, that collar and dog that just went by. Yeah. He wants to join in. <laughs> He's like a Muppet. He just sort of sneaks in. He knows when I'm doing stuff, he gets in the back. Um, 
but that that's what I was, you know, thinking about. And then Charles Moore, who does the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, um, going out there and the fact that it was unknown when Earth Day was started, but it was probably starting to accumulate at the time. Um, but now we know about it and we can do something about it. Um, so I guess yeah. what I'm saying is it amazed me all the little things that over time, the little bits add up to big things. Yeah, and absolutely we're seeing that not in the best of circumstances, obviously, uh, with uh, all of us hopefully uh, doing what we can to stay at home and, and uh, things like that. But, you know, images that are getting out there of how uh, the environment is changing just in the few weeks and in some cases a couple of months where our behaviors have changed, right? We're not as much moving around, not as things going on, and uh, set, whether it's satellite imagery or photographs, uh, footage that people have been taking, it, 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 you can see the difference, right, in our impact on the environment and the earth uh, just in that amount of time that, uh, you know, we've all had to make this drastic change to try to contain this this terrible pandemic. But but I think that that's a direct visual representation of really how we do impact the world. Yeah. It's amazing to think we can see that now, but they couldn't see that back then when this was going on at other times. Can you imagine if they could have seen, you know, how it affected things and changed and just those images of streets that are empty and um, stuff going on. Jon Snow would have had a lot different, you know, experience if he could have viewed things, you know. Yeah. yeah visualized yes. it <laughs> that's true well sue stole my thing so yeah. i guess that's about it it's kind of a wrap up for earth day 2020 again we're kind of coming at the end of the day um so uh if you are curious as to what happened and getting want to be able to get access to some of the re recorded media head over to places like earth day earth day.org of course go ahead and start planning for next year whether we're talking about earth science week in the fall geography awareness week uh, uh, three weeks later, and of course, Earth Day next year for the 51st, 51st anniversary. I'm just going to stop <laughs> trying to talk. You might way. see a big jump between the 50th and then the 51st. You might see a huge movement that, you know, comes into play because everyone's experiencing something together. Yeah, I'm really hopeful that, you know, even though everybody's really worried about the economy right now, that people do take into account what's been going on environmentally, both in terms of animals kind of wandering uh, further afield, being able to see things through remote sensing. Um, hopefully people will be taking those into account as we do get things going again. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so hopefully uh, everyone out there is doing well. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're, we're doing what we need to now to make sure that we can all come out of this and, and uh, get a chance to go further afield again. Yeah. So happy Earth Day. Happy and Earth make day. every day, right? Yes. Yeah, and make, make every, every day, day Earth day. day. Yes. Yeah.